Next one is tuning your sound system. So this is another big one that I do. Um, if I'm ever working with a group for the first time, or even just from season to season with a group, is I will tune my sound system. So what that means, it's kind of similar as you can think about it, similar as just like tuning an instrument of just trying to make sure that the right frequencies are gonna come out at the right times. Um, so what I'll do for mine is I'll have the full setup and usually I'll try and do it outside. You can also kind of do it inside or even like best case scenario if you can go and like do a gym and do it is uh, set the full system up and then you're gonna pick a few songs that you really enjoy and that you know really well and especially ones that have a, a broad frequency spectrum that kind of hit all of the different places. You're gonna pick some of those songs. You might have a couple of them that you really enjoy, you know exactly how they sound or you know exactly how you want them to sound and you can play them through your sound speakers and listen to that and see what's coming out of your speakers while you're playing that song and you can go, okay, this does not sound how it should sound. This sounds maybe a little bit too low frequency muddy or this has like too many highs and I need to turn that down. Um, at that point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into what's called the graphic EQ. If you have a digital mixer, they all basically have a graphic EQ. Um, if you don't have one of those, you can buy a like rack mounted graphic EQ and they're actually not really very expensive at all. So they're pretty cheap. So it's pretty easy to get a graphic EQ if you don't have one, even if you have an analog system. Um, but what it does is it chops up the frequency spectrum. Like in that chart we were looking at a couple spots back um, is we saw how from left to right there's those vertical lines. What the, gen the GEQ is doing is it's slicing up each of those into little knobs. And I can go and turn up very specific frequencies throughout that spectrum so that I know when I'm listening to this thing and I know this has too much low end right now is I can pull some of those down on the, G, the general EQ so that uh, everything that's now going through is gonna pass through that first and then it'll go to all of the channel strips. So you might EQ a channel strip itself and the GEQ would come uh, separate from that process. So you can still EQ a very specific thing for, for an instrument and then you can also just have the general one that's gonna apply to everything and it's gonna affect how the speakers sound. Um, so that would be one of the first things I wanna do before we're getting too deep into any part of the season so that way I know what the speakers are sending me so that I know if something doesn't sound right then that is an issue with that specific sample and it's not a bigger issue with the entire sound system. Is I know that, okay, the sound system itself sounds how I want it to sound right now. The, all of these different frequencies, the whole spectrum, this song sounds clear to me right now. I can hear everything that I wanna hear and now when I put a sample through it and I go, okay, that sample doesn't sound right, now I need to change that sample. And I know it's just that one, I'm gonna change that one. This has too much this, not enough of this, too much of that and now I'm just gonna make specific changes to that thing knowing that my my overall sound system sounds good. So that is, that is a great pre-season, off-season thing to do. And, and usually it ends up being a lot of fun because then we bring the students in and everyone has a dance party and everyone goes crazy while I'm playing songs and, and tweaking tiny little things here and there.